Okay, let's talk about bringing these into a game engine and what you need to consider. Now, right now we have two subtools, and this could be any any type of mesh with loads of different subtools. Now, if I jump into Substance Painter so we can clearly see the different texture sets we have, you have these two texture sets: one for the lollipop, one for the stick. Ideally, we'd want to have both texture sets into one texture set. If I want to bring this into Unreal Engine, I'm going to need at least three textures. And by textures, I mean images, like PNG images. I would need a normal map image, a base color image, and another RGB image where I would have my roughness, metallic, and ambient occlusion. So we're talking three PNG images just for one texture set. So ideally, we want to combine these two texture sets so that in the end, we only have three images. Now you might think that it would be a good idea to just come into ZBrush, grab one of these tools, go to merge, press merge down, combine them, and then unwrap and create a single texture set. But that would create some seriously bad baking errors. You'd have overlaps and your normals would be all messed up. And that's why we bake everything separately, just like we did on the last video. In case you missed any of the last videos, you can go to the video description and you find the full playlist link. So I'm going to keep things separately to avoid those baking errors. But in the end, I'm going to use a tool to combine both textures. And it's going to combine both textures one on top of the other. So that tool is not really going to work if we have something like this. As you can see, these parts of this mesh are on the left-hand side. And this mesh is also on the left-hand side. This would just be a mess if I combine them together. On the next video, we're going to try to get a better understanding of UVs and seams. And on the following videos, we're going to keep working on this project until we get them to Unreal Engine as a game prop. So I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Support me on Patreon. Bye.